Okay, in this video I'll show you how easy it is actually to print something from a software to the Bumble 3D printer. Um, it's actually funny. I can see what the printer is printing in real, real, real time. Another thing is what I can see. I can see the temperatures, everything. I can see the filaments inserted. Red is running out, out but yeah, that's not the purpose of this video. So, um, I'm using SketchUp normally. Let's use it full screen. Uh, so uh, I draw a, a box, boxes. Uh, it's like you can draw anything yourself. And I, in fact, I'll show you right now. You can download the same as in Bamboo library. You can actually download SketchUp files as well. I'll show you right now. So you go to SketchUp warehouse, uh, 3D warehouse.sketchup.com, and you can see there's a bunch of stuff you can download. The thing is, uh, when you download they tend to be low quality files, uh, I don't know what for you will use it, but anyways, you can get something very really valuable here also. Here also. Um, I will not go into details each of these files, uh, like for example, like mag magazine storage, storage box. But the thing is, uh, you have to keep in mind that uh, you have to have like a, like a wall size close to normal size which you think your filament will hold so i was keeping here i think three or four millimeters let's check uh use the measure tool it's four millimeters so i took four millimeters the walls i will print it and then let's see what will happen so anyway you draw something here you draw something here you copy it i copied it to be matching like approximately 30 by 30 centimeters of the area it's the same as the printer can print and then all you go is you go to export 3d model and export it as stl stl file and when you have the stl file uh, stl file exported you just drag the file here's my original i'm printing like uh, small boxes right now you drag in the original file and it's here but the thing is uh, i noticed that from the sketchup key assumes that 24 millimeters is the file wide and length but it is actually 24 centimeters so i think you need to remake the, the sketchup file uh, default are millimeters not centimeters but anyway you can overcome this by going to scale and just type one in 240 millimeters hit enter and then you have it so it's really awkward these controls here you need to get used to it which button does what uh, but anyways you have it in here so uh, I'll show you a video how you can do a multicolor print later but now you need to figure out uh, thickness so I decided this is like a non-quality job I wanted to have like layer height 0.2 millimeters so it's thicker but I had 0.8 millimeters anyways you just place in your standards like whatever the defaults are on your printer nothing too complicated I think I don't need to be quality print so I put it 0.28 but uh, then it said it's over the the printer's design but anyways who cares and try it and see if it works uh, and then what you need to do you need to slice hit the slice plate and then it slices the print into into layers and layers and layers and then you have it and you just click print plate and it tells me the printer is busy but anyway there are filaments you you just select which color you want to print and it's done uh, because I'm already printing this file right now uh, here and uh, you can see it so let's see what happens when it's finished uh, it's telling me it will take around seven hours but I did print two color things and uh, I'll share this in a different video what is not good and this is what I think about two color prints. So I need a, a two head printer or maybe four head printer, who knows. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it serves you out a lot of time and see you guys on a different video.